Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're back once again with another amazing science tutorial video. I'm Coach Spivey, joined my son Jordan Spivey, and in this video tutorial, we're going to be going over electromagnetic waves. So let's begin. So let's do a review over electromagnetic waves, and we've covered this in a previous video. So electromagnetic waves travel by transferring energy between vibrating electric and magnetic fields. So if you take a look at the animation below, the vibrating electric and magnetic fields actually carry energy with them as they travel. And they move perpendicular to the medium, which means that they travel at right angles to the medium. And all electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. Electromagnetic waves travel at a speed of light, which is 300,000 kilometers per, sec per second. And electromagnetic waves slow down in, in a medium. They travel fastest in gases and slowest in liquids. So if you take a look, in the vacuum of space, they travel at 300,000 kilometers per second. But if you notice, through air, they slow down. Through water, they slow down even more. Through glass, they slow down. And through diamond, they only travel at 124,000 kilometers per second. Why? Because they travel slowest through solids. So now let's take a look at the electromagnetic spectrum, and it includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, visible light, ultraviolet waves, x-rays, and gamma rays. And the longer the wavelength, the lower the frequency, and the less energy the wave is carrying. So for example, if you look at the bottom, I'm drawing a wave right here. Notice the wave has a long wavelength. That means that it has a low frequency and it's carrying very little energy. And these types of waves would be a radio wave, microwave, infrared wave, and visible light. But if you notice, the shorter the wavelength, the higher the frequency, and the more the energy the wave is carrying. So here is a wave with a short wavelength. That means it has a higher frequency and consequently is carrying more energy. So these types of waves would include ultraviolet waves, x-rays, and gamma rays. And if we take a look at this electromagnetic spectrum diagram, it's going to reinforce the concepts we just talked about on the previous slide. So here are our radio, microwave, infrared, and visible light waves. If you notice, they have a longer wavelength and they have a low frequency, which means that they're carrying less energy. So I go ahead and annotate that down here. So they're carrying less energy. But as we move across our electromagnetic spectrum, you notice that the wavelengths get shorter and shorter and the frequency of the waves is getting higher, which means the amount of energy the waves are carrying is getting higher as well. So that includes waves such as ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Now, radio, microwave, and infrared, and visible light waves, they're not harmful to you because they have a long wavelength, low frequency, and they're carrying very little energy. Their wavelengths cannot penetrate through your body. But as we move across our electromagnetic spectrum, and as our wavelengths get shorter and shorter, they carry more energy and have a higher frequency. And these are the types of waves that can penetrate through your body. So if you notice, ultraviolet rays can cause cancer. And if you look at x-rays, when you go to the doctor, they put a lead vest on your chest or put a lead vest on your body to keep those x-rays from penetrating through. And then gamma rays are the most powerful, the most energetic waves of all, and they can penetrate through almost any substance. You would need at least seven centimeters of lead to keep gamma rays from penetrating through your body. Now let's take a look at the waves on the electromagnetic spectrum. And we'll start off with radio waves since they carry the least amount of energy and have the lowest frequency and the longest wavelength. And, the electro and radio waves would be including AM, FM radios, VHF televisions, radio astronomy, and space and satellite communications. And so these waves cannot penetrate through your body. Why? Because the wavelengths are so long, they have a low frequency, and consequently, consequently are carrying lower amounts of energy. And then as we move up to microwaves, they penetrate food and vibrate water and fat molecules to produce thermal energy. And so that's how you're able to warm up your food, because they actually warm up the water particles inside your food. And they're also used for communication as well. And then as we move up to infrared waves, these are the waves that you feel with thermal energy and they provide us with warmth. And they're also used in remote control, seating ROMs, and for thermal Im imaging. 
So one way that you can tell where heat is being used or heat is being lost throughout your house is if you look at thermal imaging. If you notice, most of the heat is at the top of the house or in the attic. Why? Because heat rises. And so that's an easy way for Georgia Power or a company to be able to tell where you're losing heat at. And then if we take a look at visible light, it's the only part of the electromagnetic spectrum that we can see. So it's seen as white light, but it's split into the rainbow, which is Roy G. Biv, which stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So if you look at this white light right here, if you put it through a prism, it separates all the colors of the rainbow. So same thing that happens when it rains outside and you see that rainbow that's reflected in the sky. And now we move on to ultraviolet waves, which ultraviolet waves can be harmful and dangerous for you. The waves that we were talking about previously with radio waves, microwaves, infrared, and visible light, they all had longer wavelengths, lower frequencies, and therefore they carried less amounts of energy. But ultraviolet waves actually are highly energetic, which means that they have shorter wavelengths, they have higher frequencies, and consequently they're carrying more energy and they can cause damage to skin and that's why you hear about people getting skin cancer from UV waves and they're also where positives for them they also used to kill bacteria and used by forensic detectives so in hospitals just like my colleague Miss Maxwell was saying that they're used to kill bacteria because they can penetrate and they provide enough energy to kill the bacteria in hospitals and they're used by forensic detectives to detect materials that are, cannot be seen by the naked eye, just like in this picture below. And then we take a look at x-rays. They carry even more energy than ultraviolet waves, and they're absorbed by bone and teeth, and they can cause serious damage to a body. That's why when you go to the dentist or go to the doctor and they take an x-ray, they put a lead vest over you, and then the person that's taking those x-rays leaves the room and goes behind a wall. And the reason why they leave the room is because x-rays can penetrate through your body. Now, the way you're able to see your x-rays is because your bone and your teeth are dense enough where the x-rays can't fully penetrate them. And so they're reflected when you look at this x-ray image below. And then last on our electromagnetic spectrum are gamma rays. And these are the most dangerous types of waves. Why? Because they have the shortest wavelength, the highest frequency, and they're carrying the most amount of energy. And they can be very damaging, and they can, they can be useful for cancer treatment, so they can be used to concentrate on specific cancer cells, but they tend to weaken the other cells around them when they treat people for cancer. But these types of waves are the most dangerous due to the amount of energy that they carry. Now it's time for your check for understanding, and you're going to answer the following questions based upon your knowledge of electromagnetic waves. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Coach Spivey, sign off my son Jordan Spivey and Ms. Maxwell, and I hope this tutorial video on electromagnetic waves was beneficial and helpful. I'll be coming around to your desk to ensure that you understand the learning and are on point. And once again, remember that you are loved and valued, and make sure that you have a wonderful, positive attitude as you go throughout the rest of your day. Peace, and y'all have a wonderful day.